Hi, and welcome back to Mojo's Crazy Kitchen. I'm Julie Oaks, and today I'm cooking a Kentucky Hot Brown. And uh, <laughs> my husband Mike is always assisting. Get up there and show him your pretty little hat. Yeah, I got a hat. I got a Kentucky Derby hat. Look at With that. My little yeah. pony. <laughs> Two bush lines. Nice. Okay, to start this out, this is going to take a little long, so I'm just kind of warning you, um, because this is going to be all the steps. Uh, someone had asked me to cover more of the steps, so right now in this pan, I've had a roux cooking, which is equal parts of butter and flour for about four to five minutes. It's starting to bubble up pretty good in there, and I just have this burner on medium-low. I'm going to flip it down to low now. This is two cups of half and half. need to add this kind of slow. Hands here. Oh, I made it. Okay. Huh. And just let that. Not the first time. Just adding this kind of slow. So I'm going to make a cheese sauce with this, and that's what goes over top of the. Um, hot brown. Hot brown. It's a hot brown. A cheese sauce. <laughs> you just called it a brown. <laughs> The Kentucky Hot Brown, okay, and this is going to be an open face sandwich. It's got a lot of the traditional um, southern goodness in it, which means probably not good for you, and it's really windy today, so I hope you can hear me too. I'll try to remember to <laughs> talk a little bit louder here, and as soon as this thickens up all the way, they tell me, I guess, when it sticks to the back of the spoon, that means the sauce is kind of ready. Hold that for your second. <laughs> Okay, thank you. You're welcome. He's such a good helper. And that... Stop with the flogger. I've been getting smacked with that flogger ever since he started <laughs> running the race today. I think it might have been how strong the uh, juleps were. Anyway, here we go. Mint julep. Yep, the mint juleps were pretty strong. I cut it back to four ounces. I didn't realize my shot glass was an ounce and a quarter. All right, this is starting to thicken up here. I'm going to stir it. going to help you stir it. I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit so we can try to get this done All here. Right. Sorry for the pause here. No pause cooking. Hot go entertain them. Go entertain them. That's the entertainer. That's it. That's it. That's all we got. I have no idea who's signing on here. Anyway, we have the, the, the sauce is starting to thicken up here, which is what I wanted. And in a second, I'm going to add two cups of cheese. When this gets all nice and creamy and it's getting closer. Thank you. And that. I can rest it up here and kind of go back and forth between the griddle to control this. Like This is the first time I've ever made this out here. So I may have to make some adjustments on the web page on what to do and what not to do. Um, I don't really think it'll turn out bad no matter what. Anything I've cooked on the griddle has not. So there we go. I'm getting there. All right. Let it just heat up for just a second longer. Hope everybody's picks for the derby today pay off. We're gonna see what we can do today. Who is it that you picked again? Gormley. Gormley to win. And who's who's the jockey? Espinosa. And how many has Espinosa won? I think he's won three Kentucky Derbies. This would be a fourth. Don't you just love all the sports bets? This is one thing I can tell you about the Kentucky Derby. I'm not a huge sports fan myself, but I can get behind something that has its own, like, hats and... Fashion. <laughs> yes. Fashion. I'm not sure this qualifies what he's wearing. Get there so they can see your green horse. Let's tell the green horse. What is that little My Pony name? I don't know. Anybody knows what the pony's name is, please write in and let me know. <laughs> Your roses are falling out. Alright. Are we coming along there? Probably should be just right. a little bit done. I knew this was going to take a little bit of time. I'm sorry about that. I try to do it as quick as I possibly can. But okay. And this I should be adding a little bit slower, but for just for sake of purposes that we're cooking on a live show kind of thing, that I'm going to try to do this. Okay. I'm going to turn that down to medium. Mike keeps stirring that for me for a minute. Now, the next step, uh, traditional hot brown has roasted turkey on it and tomato and a cheese sauce along with bacon. So, um, I am not from the South, but I think I probably should have been. 
<laughs> because I thought that a fried tomato sounded really good on it. So that's what I thought I'd try to do today. And I'm going to try to do that on the griddle. This is the thing. I'm going to put three sides of this on hot and uh, on high, I should say. Woo! <laughs> and a little bit of oil here. How's that coming? Great. Okay. Now, I'm going to try this. I have no idea how it's going to work or if it's going to work at all. I just have a traditional like cornstarch breading here, and I'm gonna dredge the tomatoes and flour. You know what? I'm gonna put gloves on for this. Did you say cornstarch? Corn. Oh. No, actually. Uh, I thought you said cornstarch. I think I said cornstarch, but I meant cornmeal. But what was on your mind, you dirty girl? <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. It's all me. Okay. Then uh, dip it in an egg wash milk mix and into the breading here. I usually like to keep most of the breading that I do in a sack. It makes it a little bit easier. Before I ruin all of them, I'm gonna throw one up here and see how it starts to go. I'll get a couple of them, I guess. You can see once after I do about half of them, if it doesn't look like it's gonna go very good, then I'll just put the tomatoes on there again. If you've ever breaded anything, you know it's a mess. There's just no getting around that. So that was tomatoes and flour first, and a egg wash with milk and eggs. I'll put all the specifics on the webpage when I'm done. Like I said, again, I'm just kind of eyeballing this, so I'm not 100% positive how it's going to go. Change that glass real quick. Hey, when you got time to get my beer. <laughs> I, you can let that go. You can get it. All right, let's throw that on there. See once how it goes out. And I thought, really, honestly, why not? So, uh, sal, uh, fried tomatoes is very synonymous with the South. Where's my tomatoes? Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's looking real good. Yeah, I have to put a little bit more oil on here to hydrate that, but I think it will work. Alright. How's that? How's that coming? It's looking good. It looks good. Okay. Yeah, it's not quite all melted yet, but pretty Just close. Just about there. You can kind of see the cheese sauce is kind of getting nice and goopy Julie. here. Alright. Let's set that one up there. Yeah. I better take that out though, because that's going to get really hot. Okay. Alright. I'm going to move this around here just a little bit. You know, with the other tomatoes, I'm just going to kind of, yeah. I'm just going to throw them on here. And usually, I believe that they usually do the tomato as kind of a roasted or charred, maybe not, maybe they just put it on there regular. There's a lot of different sites online that shows a lot of different methods. And this is going to go real fast with the tomato not having anything on it. So, yep, this no, I'm going to put them over on this side. Yeah, I'm just going to move them over. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that this is going to go pretty quick with the turkey here. Let's get this going here just a little bit more here. Yeah. I've got them up, but there's not enough, quite enough oil to saturate it on here, so I'm not going to bread the turkey. I thought maybe I would. Um, Looks awful nice though. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a hard mix here. I'll show you here. Michael, you want me to do it? No. I'm trying to show them. You can kind of see what those look like on there in the cheese sauce. Okay. And, oh, what the heck? <laughs> there, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think we're on there. Right. And, sorry, this is a little bit more the serious part of the show when I'm cooking, so. <laughs> Be serious, woman. Be serious. Okay. Actually, those look really pretty good. I'm going to just kind of set them off to the side. I can always move those back over. All right. I'm going to ask for the viewers that are viewing, should I bread the turkey breast on here? See who's watching? Or should I uh, just throw them on there uh, for like griddled? Anybody seeing? Can't see anybody's answers yet. I can see a few people have joined and are on, but I can't see anybody answering me. I don't know how long that takes. So I'm giving it just a few seconds. 
Any preference? Should I just griddle the turkey breast or should I? <laughs> just cook them. Jeff told you that's one sexy just ass hat. Cook them. <laughs> hey Jeff, should I bread the turkey breast, do you think? Or should just I griddle just griddle them? I'll make Mike get up here and check. Okay, here we go. See if you get an answer there. Griddled. griddled. You got it, Jeff. All right, griddled it is. Here we go. All right. These I just marinated and I pounded these out um, because, well, uh, I figured if they cooked on the griddle and they were a little more even, it, they would cook a little more consistently. And what I used for the seasoning on this, I've seen it this week at Sam's. This is a turkey recipe that I just beat out and how big that is. I'm just going to throw that on there. Um, Kentucky bourbon seasoning. It was for chicken, but you know, poultry, poultry. It'd be good, so oh, I got yeah. six, of, six of these beasts right now. And I do have this on high, and there's a lot of dilemma on if you should cook something on high on the griddle. This is what I'm going to tell you. Putting all this meat on the griddle, thank you, dear, uh, will drop the temperature of the griddle surface quite a bit. So you probably want to start it out on high almost always, and then switch it around. Ooh, and that's hotter than me. Okay. There you go. Now, you get the gloves off here. Yeah, this is not going to take too long either. Now, I lightly griddled the toast prior to, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Um, see how this is coming. Will you stir that cheese for me, baby? Yeah, I did it. Okay. Once again, when I flip these, I don't want to retouch anything right. else with this because it's still one side that's raw. It isn't going to take this turkey very long to cook. I know people are saying some funny stuff up there. I can't quite see everything. Yeah, How does that taste off? Just griddle them. Griddle them. Griddle them up. Griddle them, griddle them. Griddle them. That's what I'm doing. Okay. If I don't, like I said, I don't think they're going to take long. I'm going to use this since I use it for the tomatoes, but I don't want that to do There's still a raw side on the turkey, so after you touch this, I'll have him run this in or out of my way so I don't grab it again. Not quite letting go yet. You can usually tell on a griddle when your stuff starts to release that it's getting done enough on that side. Here, hold this thing. Got it. I'm going to move the tomatoes over just a tad here. Make sure they're not getting too done. Nope, they look pretty good yet. Okay. All right. Oh, go. man. Those look good. I'll give you a little better view of this, everybody. Do you want me to move something? Nope. So you can kind of see. See it all? Looks good. Okay. Like I said, this one takes a little yeah, bit longer. I don't know if I'm in view again. I hope I am. So hard to see out here in the sun. Yep. Did you touch something? Like that? No. Okay. I'm gonna get spanked. <laughs> That's all you've been doing all day, ever since you got that thing out. Okay. Hey, Mike, why don't you run up there and show them what seasoning I found today on that? Oh, yeah, what season was it? The one that's over there. That one, yeah. This one? Yep. No! The seasoning you had. Alright. So, here we have Grill Mates Tennessee Whiskey Put it up Chicken so Rub. Right up close. Yeah. How's that look? Alright, and it tastes really good. Okay, you will run this in for me real fast and bring me a knife out. I will do that. Okay, these are all going to go pretty quick. I'm going to show you again uh, where to put this. Okay, you can see that coming along here. You can see the fried tomatoes did end up, uh, whoops, they did end up absorbing enough grease and oil on the griddle that they browned up okay. So that was good. So that actually did work pretty well for them. Okay, just gonna thank you, dear. I'm just You're gonna welcome, uh, check the, yep, not quite there yet. Not quite. And I have this on high, but again, it's a windy day out here. And, uh, you want to grab that picture though? So, yeah. I certainly do not think the high is bad for this. If you like it really slow and low, then do that. But I marinated these now. When this all gets done, I'm going to put on some, uh, my homemade bread here. Homemade bread? And I toasted this just slightly, and you can see it's huge. So when I throw that on the griddle, I'm going to top these, put the sauce on it, and the fried tomatoes, and plate it all up. 
I want to make sure these are done. This is a little longer than I normally do. I know I'll lose some interest, but for the ones who really do want to know how to do it. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be great. Put these tomatoes. Okay. Those tomatoes are definitely done enough. Hand me the container. Let me just flip it over so I get a little more of a sear on the other side. You know what I do not like about this tongs is the tong doesn't go all the way to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid design. Okay. The other part of it's great, but you need to have that go all the way to the end. You know what I'm thinking? Well, what were you thinking? I didn't make it. Start thinking about it. I should have thought about it before I bought it. Okay. I think we should come up with our own mind. Well, God knows I tried out. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna take these off too. I think. Yeah. How's that cheese sauce coming? I lost one under there. Okay. Well, that was great. Oh yeah, gooey gooey stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. What was the cheese in that sauce, baby? You it was a Asiago Parmesan and Romano with just some white cheddar. Mm -hmm. Sharp white. Sharp white. Okay. Yeah. Just double checking in the thickest area. You want to be really safe, put a thermometer in there, but yep, that was, as soon as I don't see any pink, I'm pretty okay with that. Oh yeah, yep. they look good. Yep, everything's looking pretty good. One more spot right here, because this one's just a little so, bit thicker. Am I going to hold the platters for plating one? Go uh, that one needs just a minute longer. Go okay, I'm going to film the breast right. again. This is what the turkey breast looks like, pounded out. Take a look at and my breast. Take a look at my breast. Okay. That camera keeps spinning on me, man. I haven't any luck today. Okay, right. hold on, hold on. Okay. We're there. Alright, we're there. And here we go. Alright. Get a drink. Now, I'm just gonna move these over to the one side here. Get a drink. Uh, what do I wanna do here? Do I wanna clean it off a little or do I wanna. No yeah, way, you go with what the goods are on. I'm afraid it's gonna stick to the bread a little. I'm just going to move it over to one side just a little. Mike would like all that Don't on there. Don't be afraid. No I just get the crispins. I'll run the grease back there over There you it. go. All right. I can start chanting bacon. Okay. Bacon. Bacon. Well, this is the other thing I'm going to do. Because these bacon I cooked beforehand just a little bit so that uh, it wouldn't take too long on the griddle here. And I put a little crack, fresh cracked pepper on them. Mmm, cracked pepper. Homemade bread. Yeah. Look at those. Those are beautiful, babe. It's going to heat up both sides here real quick. And then I'm going to plate it all up. There you go. You want to need a drink? Yeah. Do you have one out here for me? Yeah. Hey, take the suck out of that. Those julep drinks were strong, strong, strong. I'm just telling you. All right. Easy enough then. Here we go. Okay. I think we're all right. Now, normally in a traditional brown, I think they cut off the crust. Mike likes them, so I'm leaving them on. Keep that crust. See the biggest ones here? Yeah, I think that'd be all right. Okay. Yeah. I can't see if there's any questions or anything here, but we're trying to finish it up. EJ joined Janet Burning Joy. Okay. Now. Thanks for joining, EJ. You're drinking today. Now. The bacon, we're getting pretty good there. I might have to add a few more slices. More bacon. Nothing wrong with a little extra bacon. Okay. Hold that. You want to stir that? Cheese sauce. Okay. You know, I do need the lid. What, huh? The lid. The lid? Yeah. To what? What I always use for, to cover these. Oh, the lid. The lid. Here, this is Alright. Gooey, gooey, there, cheese sauce. Hey, this one or the new one? That one. Oh, yeah. All right. Hold on just a second. Hold that paper towel down. Got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. Move that around a little bit here. Right. 
cheese sauce, turkey, riddled stuff. Can't hardly beat that. No, and no, lots of bacon. Throw this off of here. Okay. Okay. Like that up there. I just made those as extra. I wasn't sure if I would need whatever today, so I'll, I'll figure out a good use. I'll leave them later on. Here, hold that. Okay. I'll leave them later. All right, wait, my eight back. All right, some of these with fried Watch tomatoes. It. Some of them. Let me see, how do I want to do that? Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. Some with fried tomatoes, some with the regular just griddled tomatoes. So I probably left them on there just a tad too long, but you'll get the idea. Okay. Okay. There we go. And did you bring the regular cheese out here too? The what? bag? Huh? I need the bag cheese. <laughs> bag cheese. Yeah. He's such a good runner. What do you think that I got? Yeah. Alright. And I'm telling you, these are done. Okay. And I'll show you the final plating here in just a second. He's grabbing me some cheddar. I really don't like this tong. Grab me another tong. I can't pinch anything with it. Okay. I'll get it to work. He probably didn't hear me. You didn't hear me, did you? No, it's all right. Okay, thank you, baby. Switch me. I just keep going back to it. Getting to it. Okay, and this is just Chargeno's Sharp. And let me kind of rearrange you. Somebody said they wanted to see how I'm plating it, so we're gonna I'm plate trying one. to we're gonna plate one. make this look halfway decent online here. I really needed a The different. horse will get them in there faster. What's that? The horse will get them in there faster. Horse? Oh, yeah. I, I was going to have him help me with the horse outfit out here today, but I was too scared that's not so much would be in the grease. It might pop on the grill. So, all right, here, hold on. Okay. Well, I don't like to do that. Sit my hand in that bag. There. There. Okay. And the last step here. What's that for? Go ahead. Hmm? If that's what you want. I'm All right. Asking. Now, I'm going to put this a little closer together so I get that lid on there. I'll show you what that looks like. You're going to bring it down to it? And then I'll cover it. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Okay, this is going to be the end of it, guys. I'll show you the final plating when it finishes melting, but you get the idea there. Can you see it in the picture, Mike? Yeah, oh yeah. You okay. can see it. Mm. Hope that looks good to you. Hope you like my version of the Kentucky Brown on the Blackstone Griddle. Subscribe, mojoscrazykitchen.com. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Bye now.